Hey everyone, it's Nitish here. Today in this video, we are going to build a custom React hook to load external JavaScript in a way that's both efficient and elegant. This hook can be really useful when we want to load external JavaScript files on demand and not initially on page load, thus improving performance and promoting lazy loading. So let's get started with our code walkthrough. This is Visual Studio Code and the default boilerplate React application is already set up. First, I will create a new folder in the SRC folder with the name hooks. And then I will create another folder with the name use script. Inside this use script folder, I will create a new file with the name index.js. First, I will create a function for our hook with the name use script. So this can be an arrow function and this use script hook is going to accept a bunch of arguments. The first one is going to be the script SRC value. Now it is also going to accept an options object with the values for cleanup with the default value of false and also the value for append to which simply indicate where the script needs to be appended either in the head or in the body. So by default, I am setting the value to body. Let's also import the required dependencies to import use state and then use effect because we are going to use them for state variables and side effects. First, I will add a state variable with the name loaded, which will simply indicate if the script has been loaded into the browser or not. So the name is loaded and the function to set its value is set loaded. So use state initial value should be false because it will not be loaded initially. Now let's add an effect hook which will run whenever the source will be changed or cleanup will be changed or append to will be changed. So these three things are going to be the dependencies for our use effect hook. So use effect and then add the callback function for the dependency array. I'm going to use SRC and then um, these two values cleanup and append to. So cleanup and append to. Also in the end, we are going to return the loaded state variables value. So whenever the loaded value is going to be changed, initially it will be false, but then when the script will be loaded, then it will be true. The component which is using the use script hook will be notified about its state because we are returning it. Now let's start to write our effect hook callback functions code. So first we need to check if the SRC is a valid value. So if the SRC is not available, then we will simply return and do nothing. Next, we will check if the script already exists or not. So this can be done by simply using documents.query selector function. So let script equals to document.query selector. And then we have to provide the, um, the attribute selector. So what I will do is I will write a script and then src equals to here i will use um, templating to provide the value of src so let's do that dollar and then src now let's create a variable which should be called as should append because if the script already exists then we will simply check its loaded status if it's loaded then we will simply return it otherwise we will have to append it to um, either body or the head based on this append to option value. So initially should append is going to be false. Now if a script is not found then we will create a new script element that can be done by simply calling document dot create element. So as an argument I will have to provide a script as a value for the element type. Now let's set the script src value. So script.src equals to src and let's set the script.async equals to true because we will be loading it in async mode and also set should append to true as well because we are creating a new script element. And now let's go to the else part. So else if the script has the attribute with the name data loaded, then we will have to set the loaded value to true. So what we will be doing is when the script will be loaded, then we will add a custom attribute to the script element with the name data loaded. So if a script has attribute data loaded, then we will simply set set loaded to 
hold on set loaded to true and we will simply have to return from over here because if it is already loaded then we don't need to proceed and append the script next we are just going to bind or wire up the scripts load event so um, const on script load is going to be a function so when the script will be loaded then we will simply set the load or data loaded attribute so set attribute uh, with the name data loaded the value is going to be true and let's again set the um, loaded to true because this time the script is going to be loaded and then we will know that we will have to set the um, loaded state variables property to true let's also set the callback for the script error so when there is any error in loading the script then we can um, you know invoke another function so on script error equals to an arrow function so we will simply set the loaded value to false over here and if there is any error in loading the script then we will have to remove the already existing script element so what i will do is if we have the cleanup set to true then we will remove this script element so if cleanup is true then we will simply call a script hold on let me scroll up so we will simply call a script dot um, i think it's remove yeah it's remove and then to use these two functions we just have to add the event listeners for load and error so a script dot add event listener the event name and then the function so the event name is going to be first load and then on script load i'm just going to copy and paste it for the error so okay hold on error and then on script error now finally we should simply check if we need to append the script or not if that is true then we will append the script elements to either body or the head so if should append is true then we will simply call document dot append child so document dot append child and then a script but where should we append it so so the document is an object and we can access body or head by means of their property names so that can be done by either writing either body or by writing head so using this we can add a condition over here by using the append to value so if append to is equals to body then we will use the uh, property name body otherwise we are going to use the property name head finally it's time for cleanup so we are going to return a function to you know do cleanup if required so if cleanup is set to true then we will simply first remove the event listeners from the script and then we will remove the entire script so script dot remove okay so you know what i'm just going to copy uh, these two statements and instead of add event listener i will simply write remove event listener and then finally we will simply call hold on let me scroll up we will simply call script dot remove and yeah that's pretty much everything we need to do but we also need to export our use script hook as well so i'm just going to write export default use script now let's save it and open up app.js file now i will import the use script hook in app component and you know what we can remove this default stuff so what i'm going to do is remove the header and okay let's initialize the use script hook so const loaded equals to use script now i will need to give the src value and for that i am just going to um, give the url for the jquery's um, javascript file so we are going to load it asynchronously using our use script hook now let's add a condition over here if loaded is true then we will print the message script loaded otherwise we are going to print the message script not loaded okay so let's run this react app locally to see if this hook is working as expected so in the terminal i'm just going to write npm start and press enter all right so it says cannot read properties of undefined reading cleanup i think i know where the issue is so over here i will need to destructure these two properties by 
using this syntax let's save it so it says script loaded but let's be sure that the script is indeed getting loaded by our hook so i will simply inspect the network tab and let's refresh this page again and go to js so after the bundle has been loaded jquery's script has been loaded and um, let's go to the initiator so the initiator is this index.js file which is our hook and this statement is being used to initiate the uh, the downloading of the script which simply means that our hook is working correctly now let's also go to the elements and this is the script this has been appended to the body and the data loaded attribute has been set to true it is being loaded in the async mode so it means that our hook is working as expected and that my friends was everything you need to know about building this incredibly useful custom hook it's simple yet powerful and i'm sure it's going to make your react projects that much more efficient so if you found this video helpful and enjoyed the way we tackled this project then don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'm here to help you become not just a good developer but a great one stay tuned for more such content where we simplify complex coding concepts thanks for watching and happy coding